to be distributed Together. to certain polling centers. And so in this election, um, INEC has taken advantage of what it calls the Lenny Cough mm. uh, by deliberately decentralizing uh, the, the, the distribution of, of, of the election material ahead of the election. And for me, that's significant. Uh, if accreditation uh, are starting by, uh, starting by 8 a.m. in certain places, uh, shortly after it and all that. You can be expected that one o'clock, you know, a voting can start. And so uh, that, that's very important. So for the card readers, uh, it's a new system that has just been introduced in Nigeria. It's, it's uh, an innovation in the country and it's meant to checkmate uh, fraud in the election and process. Yesterday I did remark that our election often has been mad by the trinity of fraud that we call uh, overvoting, uh, multiple thumb printing, mm -hmm. and ballot uh, box stuffing. So if you have a card reader that can get keep, so to speak, mm -hmm. and eliminate those problems uh, ahead of the occurring, picking what you said earlier again, preventing Prevention. before uh, the actuality of that did. I, I think that would be very like, uh, uh, Sorry. To cut you again, before I let uh, Captain uh, Aliu react, because uh, he was also excited about uh, your comment concerning uh, the success of that particular cadre that we saw in Daura. <laughs> uh, I, I have to go to uh, another correspondent of ours. Uh, this time we're going to Umwa here, where Treasure is standing by. Treasure, good morning. Uh, tell good us what morning. the the feel like in Umwa here, where you are at the moment. Okay, good morning. Right now in Umwa here, are some of the polling boats. The voters are waiting for the INEC officials. And while at some accreditation has started, we went to the INEC office at the local government, to my local government. We saw that some of the ad hoc staff, they were just leaving to go to the, their duty post. So that's all we have for you now from Omaha. But we are still monitoring other areas to find out how accreditation is going on. What's the feel like in places where INEC officials uh, are not uh, there yet? Uh, I, are the people agitated? No, they are not. Because they, they've got an information that they are coming. Because the security and everybody is around. So they said they are waiting. That they actually want to do their voting today. So they will wait for the INEC to come. Because of the season, I like to ask uh, people, especially when you're, you're not live on satellite, to ask about the weather. What's the weather like in Umwa here? It's a beautiful weather today. Very beautiful. Well, I love that adjective, beautiful weather. Okay, very uh, well. Don't worry, we'll get back to you, uh, t uh, Treasure, uh, our correspondent uh, in Umwa here, Abia mm -hmm. State, telling us that uh, the accreditation is on going in some places while in others. Uh, they are waiting INEC officials, and we do hope that, uh, well, it's just an hour from, uh, an hour, two minutes from uh, the uh, start of accreditation for this particular election in Nigeria is the presidential and national assembly election. And uh, uh, earlier, we spoke with Chukuma in Otoke. We'll, we'll go back to him pretty much later once uh, we establish connection with him to give us update as uh, to what uh, the situation is at the polling unit where the president will be casting his ballot. Uh, if you just joined us earlier, we saw live on television where the APC candidate, Mohamed Buhari, uh, went through the accreditation process. Uh, well, just like a, a flash, immediately he was done with his wife. And, uh, well, J.T. Uh, Ogunye said, well, he had his heart in his mouth when that particular process was going. I won't tell you what was going through my mind because live television, yes, you know the feel of having to see things live. Well, the, the, the feeds you get in the sea is also from that particular polling unit telling you that uh, accreditation is still uh, on. For Umar Liu, you are going to comment uh, uh, when uh, GT said something about that particular card reader passing the first yes. test live on television. Yes, indeed. I recall uh, when we got uh, the call from uh, Otoke, uh, we were told the INEC officials were yet to arrive. I felt a bit of butterflies in my stomach because Otoke and Daura were the... APC presidential candidate voted should be flagship polls for INEC. They, those are polling stations where INEC can make a statement to either confirm or refute misgivings earlier 
I remembered uh, Professor Atahiru Jega went through a lot. He went through lots. This is indeed not an enviable uh, position because even the party or the government that, you know, that appointed him had members in that party who were making statements that were to the effect that he was being doubted, that he had leanings. So I wouldn't want to see a situation where these two flagship polls will have any flaws or, you know, uh, it's very, very key. Very well, key. Uh, anyway, I think Ambassador, we come back to Ambassador Adigun. Well, we, we, we left you too long, and uh, I guess you'll be wondering. Apologies, uh, we were just trying to, the excitement of the card reader is one thing. Uh, you and I, we were talking about the process, asking, and uh, I also spoke with uh, uh, Mr. Woolscott today, and we were talking about the introduction of the card reader, which uh, is one of the uh, changing, you know, dynamics of this particular election in Nigeria. Getting to watch that live in the studios where you are at the moment in Abuja, what kind of feel did you get when you watched that card reader in Daura Kapsina State? Uh, Suleiman, you know, I've been sure I told you how confident I am in the process we have for this uh, election. When I watched the situation in Daura, I was quite excited and uh, it shows that the card reader, card reader, contrary to the premonition of many people, is very fast. Is, uh, it, was, it was used in Ghana before, so this is not the first time we are hearing about the uh, country. The Nigeria situation should not be different. So I think it's working, and I see it as an innovation that very soon, in the next elections, we will migrate to electronic voting in Nigeria. And uh, above all, I'm also very, very excited because it's not only the card reader. The PVC itself is an innovation to check, make fraud, and all sorts of malpractices in uh, our election system. I think uh, it's a welcome development, and I think it will work all through. Well, uh, well uh, most Nigerians that uh, we've spoken to in the course of this particular program, Nigeria 2015, they share in your optimism, in your hope, that uh, this is novel. They haven't seen this before, never like this in the history of elections in the country. We'll come back to you very quickly this time. We won't be long, as a promise. I go to Kano, where Idris Debrin is standing by. Idris, good morning, and thanks for joining us. It's been a busy moment for you, Idris, no doubt. Covering this particular process, this particular election means a whole lot to Nigerians. Tell us what exactly is happening in Kano, where you are at the moment. Yeah, thank you, Suleiman. You know, as you know, we are constitution exercise started here in Kano as early as eight AM as given by the Independent National Electoral Commission. And I must tell you, where I visited so far in the last one hour, many people have actually come out for this uh, accreditation exercise. And from what I see is actually going on smoothly. But you know, there are some problems there and then with the issue of uh, this card reader not accepting the voter's thumbprint. But in some polling stations, what is happening to the accreditation offices are asking the voters to go and wash their hands and then come back. And I tell you, sometimes when they wash their hands and come back, it works. The, the card reader just to accept their thumbprint. And then for women, they used to ask them to apply small powder on their fingers if they have. If they don't have powder, they ask them to, to go and wash their hands as well. And I've seen many instances where it works like that. And then on the issue of security, from what I see, there are so many checkpoints in campus, and the movement is actually highly restricted. You can see medical without any authorization. And at the polling station, you can only see two or three unarmed policemen trying to take to, to control the crowd there. But people are generally conducting themselves in, 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 in a very good way, as I can see it. Well, Jibrin, uh, I'm really curious what's happening up uh, north in Kano State, where you are. Uh, at the moment, I know for sure that uh, Kano has a very large, uh, you know, voter registration that we recorded earlier, just about uh, 4 million, almost 5 million, 4 million 975 people there uh, have uh, had uh, the opportunity uh, to be voter 
uh, el eligible and uh, the